Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 6, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to copy our trades over here at Ethereum or follow our full technical analysis over at Patreon, where you also can get access to our uh, live sessions and also our courses. The link uh, links are down below. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have rallied from the middle of the bullish band here at uh, 56,394. So at this current state, we are just um, just trading just above the 20 exponential. Not a lot of movement whatsoever. And neither in the weekend, it basically uh, basically um, fell a little bit in the weekend and found support down at the 15, 20 exponential. Technical indicators are either flat or bullish at this current stage. Um, so MACD is flat, the CCI, stochastic is flat, and the CCI is uh, bullish, and the RSI is bullish. So. We, it looks like we are about to uh, make a move towards the very highs at this 61k uh, and uh, if we break below the 20 exponential we'll most likely find major support at the 50 down here at 50 uh, 53 um, 53 000. so at this current date it looks like we are about to go and go to the next highs in in this market um pullbacks towards the 2050 moving average have bought, been bought into uh, both here and here and also way in the past so the 50 and the 20 have been very supportive in the, in the past and it looks like it's just making time in order to go to 50 65 and to 70k so let's look at ethereum sorry so Ethereum had is a massive rally here from the bottom of the bullish band, roughly 1571, all the way to very the highest after 2118. As I said, we broke broke down a little bit, and now we're been just trading sideways. Technical indicators they are either flat or bullish at this current stage, so a pullback towards the 20 exponential that could be expected, or the 200 level, which also is a fairly uh, bullish at this point. We could also be trading just sideways, just above the 2000 level, in order to, for the 20 exponential to, um, to uh, trend um, to the upside, and also the 50, and that will most likely act as major support. So next target here will most likely be 2500. That we have broken these previous highs here. We're trading actually above those previous highs there, so that is a very bullish shine. Uh, pullbacks towards the 50 and the 20 have also been bought into. Um, so at this current stage, it looks like um, we are about to go higher in this uh, cryptocurrency market. It didn't look very good at this point, but um, people are buying into this when they see these massive um, breakdowns and so on. So as long as that is the case, this is most likely just going to continue higher. Taking indicators, as I said, the MACD is very bullish, Stochastic is uh, bearish at this point, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish on the edge of being overbought. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, nothing has really happened here. So most of these cryptocurrencies have been rallying in the weekend and also the day. Most, uh, for example, Thron has been rallying, I think it's 25% the last two trading days. Uh, a massive move for that cryptocurrency and so have other uh, cryptocurrencies but uh, uh, cardano has just been standing still at 1.1743 at this current stage taking indicators are either flat or bullish at this current stage so the 20 exponential is holding and that is um that is a very positive sign so we could see this rally towards the uh 2.1.28 uh, dollar level uh, before this finds um, resistant breakdowns were below the 20 and we have the 50 right underneath at 1.11 so at this current stage there is a lot of support underneath so uh, rallies to the upside uh, is kind of expected at this current stage but um, but uh, nothing has really happened for the last uh, two weeks so let's look at litecoin So Litecoin has also rallied. We're trading at uh, 215 at this current stage. Um, we are getting fairly overstretched. And last time we got overstretched, we basically fell all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band. So, so it can get really volatile also here. 
we fell all the way down to the 50 here all the way to the bottom and also here all the way down to the 50 so so these massive moves outside of the bullish band usually doesn't um, bode well for for uh, for litecoin as it tends to break hardly to the to um, to the downside when it uh, basically gets outside so at this current stage, um, technical indicators are all very bullish. So um, yes, the target here is still probably 250, but pullbacks at this point are expected towards the middle of the bullish band at 192, or the very bottom here at 270. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has uh, been one of those cryptocurrencies that has been rallied significantly. We're trading at 56 at this current stage. We broke these highs here and are trading well outside of the bullish band. And uh, usually it can basically start rallying here for probably two to three weeks. But usually this is a massive warning that will break towards the middle of the bullish band at the 45 or even the very lows at the 30, uh, 34. So probably won't go that far, but uh, the 50 moving average will most likely be where this falls if it tends to fall at this current stage. So that is at 42 at this current stage. So technical indicators are very bullish. We are significantly overbought and overstretched here. So it has been a massive run from 36 all the way up towards $56. So let's look at Dash. So finally, we can see some movement in this cryptocurrency. We did see the movement here in February and then it broke down towards the 50 and then all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band here at the 177. And now we're trading at 265. A massive rally to the upside, especially in the in the, on here on Sunday, it rallied. And um, technical indicators have all turned around and this was basically a sleeping giant the, and has basically been woken at this current stage. But we are significantly overstretched the pullbacks are expected at this current stage next target will most likely be 300 a break below the middle of the bullish band will probably open the door to the very lows here at 185 so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over here at etro and over at patreon the links are down below good luck and thank you very much